kid who's trying to play tennis this, this morning. He's yeah, trying. It, it, there, there you go. That's <laughs> the word. He's trying to play tennis. It's uh, ahead of a free clinic that's happening uh, end of this month, and he's trying it out right now. Good morning, sir. I, look, I feel so intimidated. <laughs> you do? Yeah, you try to catch this. Uh, Eric should be scared right now behind the camera. But, but I, it looks like good form. It feels like good form, but is it good form? Chuck Cooper, Blair Wood Tennis Club. Now, Chuck, we're working on the serve right now, and it's kind of like the beginning of a match. You've got to be able to serve. So what am I? What can I do to make my serve better? The hardest part of the serve is, is your ball toss, the okay. timing of it, when to hit it, and, and making sure that you get your toss out in front of you, okay. out in front of your body. Right? That's what I learned. I, I just kind of throw it up and then right. just kind of whack it. But you're saying what, do what? Straight arm? Straight arm. Left arm straight. And then and then when when do I hit it? On the way down? No, you hit it right at the top of the, of the toss. Where there's a place there where the ball stops. That's where you okay. want to make contact with it. Huh? No, that toss is too far to your left. Okay. That's like you've got a clock in front of you. Okay. And you want to toss the ball at 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. There you go. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm over. I'm all good. All right. One more time here with the serve. Good. Good. Oh, oh look at that. Look at it. Just had just a little bit of a lesson. All right, so one one more serve here. See if I got it, Chuck. Okay, here we go. Uh, too, that's good. A little too far out there. Okay, now we got the serve down. Now I got to be able to return it when Marcia gets it back to me. So forehand. Let me see it. Let me pitch you. All right, here we go. Get analyze it here. Uh, a little bit. So what am I doing wrong? Okay, first of all, that was good. A good follow but when you take your racket back, mm -hmm. you don't need to take it way back over here. Keep your back elbow in close to your body. Okay. Okay. Now here's the problem. On your follow through, uh -huh. make sure you bring that elbow up. And keep it higher. Act like you've got a wristwatch on. You can see it the time it is at the end of this one. And it's and that's what it when I've been playing out in the backyard, it's kinda of, I just want to right. do it like this. That's one of the most common problems, getting people to follow through high. Follow through. And then you know, just this basic stuff this morning with Chuck's been teaching us, you could learn at a local club near you. You go to WDRB.com, click on the button, and the last weekend in April, there are introductory basic courses that you can get involved with, kind of learn if you want to take up tennis for a, a lifetime. And that's a, a great great sport that uh, all ages can do and have a good time doing. All right, Chuck, let's see what we got. Go. Oh! Good job. Good swing there. Good. Ah, oh, good. I just had to... Oh! Elbow up. Elbow up. Elbow, Elbow up. up. Oh, yeah, good. Look at this! Huh? <laughs> Janice, if you can take some of these skills yeah. to... Bring it up. I think he didn't even surprise himself. Yeah. I can learn I am. I like him. He's a very patient. I like the wristwatch uh, example I, and one o'clock. I mean, those are real tangible right things that you can picture when you do it. And look at Keith. He's coachable. That's one thing I like he about is. Keith. He's very, very coachable. He acted like he was surprised he did so well. Chuck knows what he's doing. Yeah, I'm learning some things this morning. Hey, today, I'm a horrible tennis player, so I've tried to learn every bit I can. <laughs> We're in the same boat. <laughs> A woman guilty of animal cruelty, 